City commissioners cut jobs and services. One longtime Gainesville leader is retiring. TV20's Cameron Lund tells us why those who know former GPD chief Tony Jones best think his work is not over just yet. After working for the city for nearly 50 years, former police chief Tony Jones is retiring. It's a little odd. I mean, my entire career has been uh, Tony's been here. In a few months, Tony Jones will no longer work for the city of Gainesville. Jones served with GPD since 1975 and took over as chief in 2009. Former Mayor Pegeen Hanrahan helped put him in that role. He started out himself uh, in a police explorer yeah. position, and I know over the arc of his career, he probably um, motivated and mentored literally hundreds of kids into a more positive future. Chief Lonnie Scott took over for Jones just last year, but they were together the department for decades. When I came into law enforcement, I was mostly focusing on how I can put people in jail, how many people I can put in jail. Uh, working with Tony, it evolved to, you know, trying to identify problems and solve the problems. Jones will continue to serve with the city's juvenile justice program under the GPD umbrella. The most recent round of city budget cuts opened vacancies in three jobs with the program including one titled administration. Despite this change, his colleagues don't picture Jones walking completely away from these programs. I know he will likely remain involved. He's just the kind of person that is uh, acting from the heart, and so it's hard to envision him completely stepping away. And with Jones away, Chief Scott now has another title in his department. I'm going to miss him, uh, him being at GPD because officially that makes me the oldest person at GPD. Jones's retirement begins on October 1st. Reporting in Gainesville, Cameron Lund, TV20 News.